Hey guys, I'm Darcy from Lucky Tackle Box. I'm going to give you my advice on how a beginner can catch his or her first inshore saltwater fish. I get this question a lot and more people would probably go fishing if they knew where to start. So let's get right to it. First, you're going to need a rod and reel combo. Don't worry too much about this if you're a beginner. You can even borrow a combo from a friend. You want a light duty spinning reel and a medium to light action rod for your first inshore fish. Here is what I use for inshore saltwater fishing. For my reel, I'm using an accurate SR6 spinning reel and I have it spooled with 15 pound braid as my main line. And for my rod, I have it paired with a 7 foot 2 Tsunami Coastal Series Airwave Rod which is considered a light action spinning rod. In order to catch your first saltwater fish, I would recommend attaching to your main line a popping cork or a bobber. Either one will work just fine. And then to attach to the other side of your bobber or popping cork, you're going to want to attach your leader. And I would recommend starting off with a 20 pound leader as your leader. And it's going to be about two to three feet. And at the end of your leader, you're going to have a small hook attached. I would recommend a one to two watt circle or J hook to start off with. And you would attach your live or dead shrimp to that hook. With this rig, you can catch a variety of different game fish. In the south, you can catch everything from tarpon to snook to ladyfish to sheep's head to jack crevals. And up north, you can catch bluefish and flounder all day. I'm going to show you how to rig your shrimp. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using an artificial shrimp. But for beginners, I would recommend using live or dead shrimp. So the easiest way to rig them for basic casting and drift fishing is basically to take your hook and run it crosswise through the back of the tail like this so the shrimp is facing up towards you and stick it through and that way he can kick and swim freely if it's a live shrimp and if it's a dead shrimp it'll work just fine. You can also take this out and rig it through the center so you would keep your shrimp upright and run your hook through the bottom and bring it up through the top. So you have two different methods to run it through the tail and you can catch fish using either method. The big issue is where you're going to fish. The old saying goes that 99% of the fish are in 1% of the ocean. We just need to find that 1% by thinking like a fish. Fish like to eat smaller fish and smaller fish like to hide. So generally we are going to want to cast and drop our baits around structure that fish can hide around such as docks, and seawalls, pylons, bridges, inlets, and even around points and curves in the landscape. You can also Google places to fish in your area or just get started by looking where the other fishermen are. Also, especially for inshore saltwater fishing, you're going to want to try and fish when the current or tide is moving fastest. This is generally the two to three hours in between the low and high tides. For example, if high tide is at noon and low tide is at 6 p.m., generally speaking, the current will be moving fastest from about 2 to 4 p.m. or so. The most important part about fishing is just to get out there, enjoy the outdoors and the water with your friends and your family. Hopefully these tips are going to help you catch your first inshore saltwater fish and create some lifetime memories. Once again, on behalf of Lucky Tackle Box, I'm Darcy Airhill. You can find me on social media, Roku, and YouTube at Sir Sizzle Offshore. And until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching.